Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and the bell, and we'll jump straight into this video. So today I'm going to be doing a tweed protective style, which is half braid, half twist. So I'm just going to be using these two products, Shea Moisture, the coconut and hibiscus line. I'm going to be using the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Curl and Gel Souffle because this has a lot of moisture and I do want to keep my hair moisturized while in this protective style. So my hair has already been washed, deep conditioned, detangled and I've got some uh, leave-in in there already. I've just had it up in this towel. My hair is still wet. And this is what my hair looks like. I'm not going to be adding any water to my hair because it's already pretty much soaking wet. So I'm just going to start by parting my hair how I would like it to be. I hope this is straight. I'm going to start on the front half. I'm just going to wrap the back section back up, keep it nice and moisturized. So what I want to do is just try and clean up this part a little bit in the middle because I do want to put two canoes coming down my hair just so that I can keep the hair off my face. It doesn't need to be too straight at this moment. I only really need the front section here. I'm just going to part this section here out. It doesn't need to be too straight because it's going to be covered. I just put the section away for a minute. So now I'm going to add some of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie in just a little bit. My hair already has leave-in in there. I'm just going to rub this in. I'm going to go ahead and add some of this souffle. Also just a little bit. And then I'm going to use some beeswax just to slick my edges up before I plait this in. I'm not too big on, on edges but I just want to make sure that it's in the plait itself. I think I'm actually going to do a flat twist instead of a corner. I'm just going to start at the top here. down about three quarters of the way. And when I get to about here, I'm just going to join two of the pieces together. Make sure that's detangled again. And then I'm just going to twist it up. very end I'm just gonna twirl that on my finger to get a nice little coil at the end so I'll do 
the exact same thing to the rest of the section and then I'll show you. anymore I'm just gonna put these to play in the reason I like doing these is because it lets your hair still have that stretched effect and doesn't shrink up as much because the braids would allow your hair to be elongated but still have the effect of the twist so that's why I like doing these ones you can already see the difference how much this one has shrunk up compared to these ones too long to do either because I am a pretty good braider so I'm hoping to fly through these as fast as possible to shrink up my ends are looking a little bit more juicier than the side that I've just done you can see the difference in length here so hopefully the side shrinks up as well well it should do anyways this is what my hair is looking like so far I'm just gonna go into the back section off camera and then I'll come back and show you my finished results Okay guys, I'm back and I am finished. What do you guys think? I think my hair looks really nice. I like how it comes down nice and slim. And then fall out more at the bottom. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if this is a great protective style. It looks nice. I'll just show you the back quickly. Don't mind the parts. I know they're not perfect, but... We are in quarantine, so everybody's staying inside, so the parts don't need to be super straight. But I got the job done. So what I want to do now is I want to accessorize it. I got these from Amazon a few weeks ago. So I just want to add a little bit of dazzle to my hair. Just so that the hairstyle doesn't look as plain. So I'm just going to open these up. There's a bunch of different ones, they come in both gold and silver. So it's got just rings and stars and shells and leaves, a few springs and clamps. And as I said, they come both in gold, gold and silver. Oh, there's also crosses. So I'm just gonna Add a few bits to my hair. I'd probably go with the gold colour for now and we'll see how that turns out. So I'm just gonna start with a little clamp. Just gonna put it on here. What do you guys think? Gold or should I go silver? Gold or silver? I think the silver stands a bit more, but I think I'll go with the gold actually. So I'm just going to open this a little bit. I 
I think you're supposed to open them. They're so slippery. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these bolts on because they're a lot easier to get in. this in my hair because it needs to go through the middle and my plaits are too small to fill this out so I think it would just fall out I'm not gonna put that in okay what do you guys think I don't want to put too many in it just kind of gives the hair side just a little bit more Pizzazz. Let me know if you guys think I should have used the silver. I think the gold looks really good, just the same. So, this is what it looks like. I'm going to give you a close up. Yes, I have grey hairs. I'll show you the back again. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a like. Please share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!